Hi everyone, my name is Jane and I'm an aircraft engineer here at Air New Zealand. An aircraft engineer uh, inspects and checks aircraft and repairs them to make sure that they're safe to fly. And these range from little aeroplanes all the way up to big aeroplanes. And these include the ones that maybe you have flown on with your family on holiday. So I'm really excited to talk to you guys today about a book called Rosie Revere Engineer. The uh, reason why I'm interested about this book is because it's about a little girl called Rosie who is an engineer who invents amazing things, including a flying machine for her great-great-great-aunt Rosie. Now, when I was a kid, I loved to help my mum fix her car, and it was my job to take the spark plugs out and clean them and put them back in again. And I used to ask questions after question after question to figure out how a car engine worked. And I just kept asking until I figured it out. The other thing I used to like to do is come up with inventions. And one of the ones I did was when my brother and I moved to separate bedrooms, we wanted to keep talking together at night. So with my mum's agreement and help, I drilled a hole between our bedrooms in the wall. I cut a length off the garden hose and I stuck it through the wall with a couple of funnels. And we were able to talk between our rooms together at night. So I'm going to read to you a little bit from this book, which is a bit that interests me a lot, and that's around some of Rosie's great inventions. Alone in her attic, the moon high above, dear Rosie made gadgets and gizmos she loved. And when she grew sleepy, she hid her machines far under the bed where they'd never be seen. When Rosie was young, she had not been so shy. She worked with her hair sweeping over one eye and made fine inventions for uncles and aunts, a hot dog dispenser and helium pants. The uncle she loved most was zookeeper Fred. She made him a hat to keep snakes off his head. From parts of a fan and some cheddar cheese spray, which everyone knows keeps pythons away. So that's my favourite part of the book. So if you like asking questions and figuring out how things work and perhaps building your own inventions, then keep going, that's great. Get involved with your STEM subjects at school and consider being an engineer. And one day you might look at this book like I did and say, hey, that's how I was when I was a kid.